I want to thank His Excellency the President for changing the political discourse in this country from politics which is based around rhetoric, tribes and individuals to politics which is anchored on issues touching on the common Mwanaichi. And I verily believe that the election that we have just witnessed within the first two months is going to be the turning call and the rallying call that would make sure that we are united as a country around issues facing the common Mwanaichi. Two, I also want to state without fear of contradiction that in our history since independence, for the first time, we have got a sitting president who was elected on the basis of commitments which he made to Wanainchi through economic charters. And his government is going to deliver based on commitments which were made before the elections. We thank you very much for committing beforehand that your government will make uh, will deliver promises to all parts of this country, irrespective of the voting patterns that we witnessed during the elections, Homer Bay County inclusive. <laughs> Moving forward, Your Excellency, in this region, we want to assure you that we will engage you on the basis of the politics of the economy. We want to discuss with you about our fishing. We want to discuss with you about our cotton. We want to discuss with you about trade for women and opportunities for the youth. Finally, on behalf of the people of Nyanza, may I have the distinguished honor and privilege to thank you most sincerely for granting me the opportunity to serve in your government on behalf of the people of this region. I now have the distinguished honor and privilege, Your Excellency, to welcome you to talk to the